Holy hijinks, how one lawmaker's Bible prank turned into an ethics inquiry. In a case that marries the holy with the hijinks, Stephanie Stahl Hamilton, a Democratic representative and a Presbyterian minister from Arizona, has been thrust into the limelight after an unusual Bible hiding prank turned an ethics inquiry against her, ignited an ethics inquiry against her. Hamilton was caught on hidden camera taking Bibles belonging to her fellow representatives and hiding them in unusual places, sparking an ethics complaint filed by three Republican representatives. They accused Hamilton of theft, disorderly conduct, and creating a hostile work environment. Hamilton's prank was intended to highlight the issue of the separation of church and state, but it appears the line between jest and disrespect was crossed in the eyes of her colleagues. Hamilton's apology stated that she never intended to desecrate the Bible or offend anyone and called for a genuine conversation about the separation of church and state. Despite issuing an apology and recognizing the offense her prank may have caused, the incident has sparked a contentious debate about religious discrimination and political retribution. So let me give a little bit of background. Um, in the Arizona, you know, state chambers, you know, they had, I, I can't remember exactly what area of the like House of Representatives state House of Representatives it is, but there's somewhere in the official state building where um, there are Bibles that are available. And I believe these Bibles are just there. I wasn't, based on my research, under the impression that they were this specific property of individuals. I could be wrong, but that was not my impression. It seemed like these were just Bibles that just stayed in these areas of the government's chambers. And in fact, the Bible apparently is the only religious text that is just like openly and freely available in these government chambers of lawmakers, the, the part of the public lawmaking chambers. And so what, <laughs> what Stephanie did for apparently like a few weeks is she would take the Bibles that she would find around the state lawmaking chambers and hide them. So she would take them and like put them under couch cushions or she put the Bible in the refrigerator and, um, <laughs> and she kept on doing this to the point that some of her Republican colleagues set up secret cameras to like catch who was doing this. And so she was caught on hidden cam, caught, caught in 4K, 4K, okay? Um, <laughs> and she was caught in 4K, <laughs> hiding the Bibles. And this has, you know meant that they're opening an ethics inquiry against her, which means that at most she could receive, it, it could turn into nothing, or it could turn into a censor, censure, or it could turn into her being actually, like, removed from office, I think, is the, um, the Why worst. Why is that making a big deal of it? it? She didn't do, like, am I, am I, I think, is this, am I wrong? She didn't do that. She was just hiding, she didn't steal them. They got their Bibles back. She's yeah, just yeah, yeah. hiding them. What's and they're the saying big deal? that she's creating a hostile work environment towards Christians. What? But she's literally a Presbyterian Grow minister. Up. So they can't really claim oh, wow. full blown discrimination because she's a legit pastor. <laughs> so she's a she's a Christian that believes in secularism. Separation yes. of church. Not only is she a okay. Christian that uh, believes in secularism, but she's literally a preacher. Okay. Well, I kind of like her. Am I wrong to like it? I don't think she did anything wrong. So her did thing is like this is wrong? supposed to be like a commentary on separating of religion from the house of government. Am I right? Am I like did she do you think she did anything wrong? I think she was like I mean, even if she did something wrong, it wasn't that big of a deal. Do I think that it was morally wrong? No, not at all. Do I think that it was probably inappropriate for um, Who cares? the context of being a politician or the workplace? Possibly. I mean, it, but the worst offense, not even close. Not even close. I've, I like her, actually. I, I mean, like her. Yeah. Like, she's a Christian who believes in secularism to the point that she wanted to make a point. I mean, it worked. Now we're talking about it. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't think I think it was appropriate. I think I mean, I thank you for your service. Yeah, I like her. Yeah, D is calling know. it fake outrage 
for political spectacle. And there's some people in the Arizona state representatives who say that they, this is Republicans just jumping on the opportunity to take retribution against her because oh, she's yeah, yeah, res yeah, yeah. Vic responsible for getting a Republican, Republican actually kicked out. Um, I can't remember what that person did, but they're saying, oh, they're just trying to get one back on her because of that. Um, and um, they and... give us free Bibles, guys. It's not that big of a deal. And she she got you know like Bibles are like all over the place. Like you you you, you will have access to your Bibles. It, it, oh my God! And I mean, Mustafa's is correct. Children. He's saying that these were in the break room. That they were on a coffee table. Okay, maybe I misremembered exactly where they were in the state law building, but somewhere in that area. Um. And you know what? I think this is like, you're right. Dark is like, of course they'll play the victim card. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is the most Christian thing you could do. You know what I mean? Like, oh, Jesus. And like, we, we must be true Christians. We bring up press. They mm. play the prank. They, they took, they put my Bible in the fridge. Are we not the most oppressed people in the world? Like we are <laughs> like, <every. laughs> this is Christian phobia Man. <laughs> by another Christian. And it was interesting. NPR like interviewed a different Christian pastor about this incident and being like, what do you think about this? And she was like, yeah, I mean, I do find this kind of offensive, but what I find more offensive is people weaponizing my faith for political expediency. And I think that while I don't like what she did, it is a, it, it is a good conversation starter in a way. People are calling this full blown desecration, which I find like very interesting. Um, and I thought it was kind of interesting because when people criticize us for the forms of protest or desecration or blasphemy that we do, especially in regards to making a commentary on free expression, it's it's a very similar thing where like we're doing this partially as a way to start a conversation. Yeah. You know, like like get people thinking about that. If it if it causes so much shock and outrage, then and then ask why and then investigate why. So. I mean, I don't know. I find this very interesting. And do I think this is a big deal? No, but people are going to make it a big deal. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Newman another... is saying that Armin, ask her out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, another reminder where many Christians try to jump on any opportunity to claim victimhood. And right now we're looking for video editors video editors would be working with me graphic designers i think graphic designers would be working with suzy um uh, grant research and writing assistant they would be working with suzy team coordinator or volunteer applicant ma application managers they would be working with me english to persian translators they would be working with me voiceover narrators would be working with me high profile guests uh, finder and coordinator that would they would be working with me that position live event speaking opportunity hunter that would be working with Susanna uh, news cur curator and writer that would be working with Susanna art team manager and payment coordinator that's a position that would be working with Susanna financial coordinator and bookkeeper that's a position that would be working with Susanna uh, social media manager that's a position that would be working with me a Drupal web developer, that's another position that we're working with Susanna. And lastly, live stream co-host in the background, most likely, unless somebody is really good. Um, you know, that would be for maybe secular jihadist recording videos, or if they speak Persian for maybe for Persian, uh, the show, that would be working with me. Again, the link to the application for volunteers is in the description and also in the live stream. Um, so if you want to join our team as a volunteer, please consider doing so.